Welcome to another studio vlog. I'm gonna get straight into the vlog this week because I have a lot to do. Turns out it takes a lot of time to bring back a business that's been on pause for a while. So first things first, I've got some orders to package. So thank you so much if you placed an order in my shop. The orders are starting to trickle in. It's been a bit of a slow burner since I um, unpaused my shop, but that was only a week ago. So I think a few of you placed an order after seeing the studio tour. Um, if you haven't watched it, you can find it in the link above and you can see my studio and the equipment I use. I go into real detail about the stuff I use for my business and I've left as many links as I can think of in the description so that you can you know if you if you like my shelving unit and then you can find it yourselves so if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen some of the changes I'm making to Fizz and Flourish I've been updating my YouTube thumbnails so I'm just trying to make my brand a bit more consistent and I feel like I've started to see the look that I want to go for it's the look I've like had in my head and I just haven't really been able to get it across but I'm really liking the style at the moment so what I'm trying to do is slowly update all my YouTube thumbnails I want YouTube to look really consistent a lot of the older thumbnails although people have said they like them I just don't think it's how I want Fizz and Flourish to be represented as a brand so I'm you might see some changes to YouTube my thumbnails and things like that it's definitely not something I can do overnight because there's a lot to get through and the bit that takes the longest is finding the appropriate photos for the corresponding video. And then after that this week, my plan is to update stickers. These sticker sheets, if you've been watching these vlogs from the beginning, these are pretty much my first ever sticker sheets. Now that was a while ago, at least a year and a half ago maybe, a year... Rude. And my style has definitely improved and evolved and I really don't draw like this anymore. So the idea is to slowly phase these out and replace them with a more up-to-date sticker sheet. So that is on the to-do list. I say this week, but that's probably gonna be a long process as well. What I'm gonna do is do a massive shop update with all my new stickers because I did quite a lot of these sticker sheets and I wanna update them all so that they're all, I can hear Freddie crying, I better go. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and he's not having any of it. So I think I'm gonna have to go be a mum. But once I've done that, um, not that that ever ends, but once he's down for a nap, I'm gonna get cracking on with my to-do list. Okay, Derek has taken Freddie out for a walk. So it is time to get stuff done. <sighs> So yesterday was a total write-off. It started out with the best intentions and then I went live on Instagram to package some orders and I was really excited because I'd not been live for, for a while. And then my mum phoned and I just like hung up. I didn't answer, I just pressed the red button and I texted her, said, can't talk, I'm live. And then she messaged and said, need help. <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, so I said, Guys, I've got to go, bye. And I just kind of abandoned the live, rang her, and she'd hurt her back. <sighs> My printer decides to talk every now and again. Anyway, she'd hurt her back pretty badly, but my mum's about a 45 minute drive away. So by the time we got there, she was just at the bottom of the stairs and in agony. All is well, she is on the mend. I got home and once Freddie was in bed, I started to package some more orders. I went live, but it was like 9 p.m. on Valentine's Day. So I don't think people were on Instagram. So there wasn't that many people there, but it was still lovely. I need to get back to packaging orders because a lot of them were meant to go out yesterday. But obviously I had an emergency and had to kind of rush to my mum's aid. So I really have to uh, 
uh, get them shipped like this morning. I got a couple of orders through the night, so I'm gonna try and like just do them all at the same time. And then I thought I would chat to you about my shop update because I have a plan and it's something I shared with my patrons. So first I'm gonna package those orders and then I'm gonna show you a little glimpse at the digital download I gave my patrons for planning a launch. It's like a step-by-step -step guide on a product launch or a shop relaunch or launch and I'm actually gonna use it myself. I kind of put together all of my knowledge into this one document. It's quite a large PDF that you can just download and keep if you're one of my patrons. So I'm gonna print that off and I'll show you a little bit more about that. But for now, I'm off to package some orders in my little packaging station. <laughs> absolutely love it when the Cricut behaves and it cuts exactly how it should. You can especially notice it when like there's a background, if it's a different colour background and then the white, you really notice it if it cuts even like slightly off. But maybe if I zoom in, can you see it's like dead on? My Cricut does not always cut like that, but when it does, I love it. I absolutely love this sticker sheet. It is by far my favorite. I cannot wait to update the rest of my sticker sheets so that it's a little bit more like this style. But for now, I'm gonna package this order and get them shipped. So you might remember these monthly planners from absolutely ages ago. I got these manufactured and at the time I was so happy with them. And since then I've been using a different manufacturer. And although there is absolutely nothing wrong with these, I know that I'm a perfectionist and I want all my stock to be the same, and um, the same quality. And I just feel that this isn't quite as good as my other stationery. So I'm offering these at a pretty hefty discount in my shop. And it just means that once I've sold out of these, I can make room for new products. So if you fancy a buy and want a monthly planner, these are on sale. So I just wanted to chat to you really briefly about these pip boxes. So I ordered 200 of these from a company that I've used in the past and they were absolutely fine. So I just reordered them, I went onto Amazon and just reordered the exact same order. But these aren't large letters, they are advertised as large letter pip boxes, but with this little like lip bit that like holds the box together, it doesn't go through. So that is tech, that is now a small parcel, which is a massive increase in terms of shipping costs. So I really should have contacted the seller because they are advertising it as a large letter, but I didn't notice until quite recently and I ordered them ages ago. I ordered them before I closed my shop. So obviously I still have quite a few left. Now, what I've been trying to do is cut this, um, little bit of uh, cardboard off so that because when you push it like you push it hard obviously royal mail you have to just be able to slide it through but once it's past that lip it goes through fine so i've been trying to cut this little lip off but then i have i have to really tape it because obviously that's holding the box together so i'm really disappointed at this company um I won't be ordering from them again. So make sure you check that the large letter pit boxes are actually large letter because obviously in the UK that will up your shipping cost quite a bit.
it's now Thursday already. Sorry about the print behind me. I'm just printing off my product launch kit that is available to my Sassy Sidekicks and up on Patreon. Instead of just putting products out there and hoping for the best, this is a, this is a way of putting those goals into something actionable. And I spent a really, really long time on this. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really useful. So it's split into sections. Section one is about my goals. Section two is curating your launch. Section three is about your postage and packaging. So it gives you places where you can break down the cost and your profit margins, your suppliers. Then you've got section four, which is pricing breakdown, product breakdown. And then section five is a marketing plan, which is week by week. So week one, week two, week three, week four. And all of this information is a big tick list of the things you should be doing in each week for this product launch. And it's a really great way to build excitement and promote your business. And then section six is other ideas to build excitement. And then at the bottom of each page, I've just put a top tip and it's a little bonus extra about product launch. So I'm really excited to have a bit of structure to the launch and also I made it look pretty. So it's nice to look at and it's great to have on your desk. So I'm gonna start filling that out and then it's it's just back to sticker making and sticker drawing and updating everything so that I can reach these goals. Last night I had my monthly live stream over on Patreon and it was all about reels, shorts, TikToks, kind of how to simplify them so that you can actually start posting them and a huge list of ideas based on product ones, valuable content and behind the scenes. So I think my patrons really enjoyed that. It went really, really well. I love doing the live streams. I had a couple of technical difficulties. It was the first time going live in this house. So there was Wi-Fi issues, but hopefully I'll have that sussed for next month. And at the beginning of March, I'll be doing a live over on YouTube. So watch out for that. If you subscribe to my channel, pop the little bell on and it'll give you a notification when I've gone live then you can join me for a cozy draw with me at the beginning of March. Right now, I'm gonna head through to Glasgow to meet up with my brother. I've not seen him in a little while, so I'm really excited for that. And then this evening, I'm gonna start making the stickers that I have drawn. So I'll show you a bit of that, and then I need to get editing the vlog. I have no idea if this has been a very long vlog. I think I haven't filmed all that much this week, but it's better to have a short vlog than no vlog at all. I'm not gonna wait for it to be absolutely perfect, or else I'll never get into this rhythm of posting vlogs again. So I'm off to Glasgow, and I'll see you later tonight. So it is now 10.30 at night and Freddie's asleep so I'm getting some work done. I've got cosy lighting and I spent the day with my brother and he gave me something pretty incredible. He didn't want anything for it. He said he's had it for two years and it's sat doing nothing. Let me show you. <gasps> Ta-da! He has given me a HP monitor. It is 32 inches. <laughs> it's pretty big for the room. Uh, that's the only downside, but it is amazing to work on a bigger screen. I started using Cricut on it, Cricut Design Space, and it's so big. And then I started to edit my videos. So with having the two screens, I can do things here and then edit over here and I can, oh, it just makes life so much easier. So I've just input my new sticker sheet and I'm gonna do a little test print and see how they turn out. So it's still nighttime, but I put the lights on because although the cozy vibe is really nice, it doesn't look so great for filming. So I just did a test print on some like cheaper sticker paper. And I do this just to make sure it looks okay before I waste my more expensive sticker paper. I love it so much. This is my favorite sticker sheet by far. I think the, the difference in quality for my skill level, it has improved so much. Um, the colors are definitely not right, but that's because it's on a different sticker paper than I'm used to. So I'm hoping on the um, more expensive sticker paper, the colors are gonna pop more. But one thing I've noticed is I think the bottom font is just a bit too small. I think this band needs to be a bit wider. So I'm gonna change that. And then I just popped it in my glassine envelope just to double check that it, you know, wasn't a millimeter too big or something. And I don't know how I've done it, but it's, it doesn't fill the envelope. 
So all my other sticker sheets fill the envelope and I thought I had the measurements right, but obviously I don't. So I'm gonna change that as well and then I'm gonna print it on the real sticker paper. And I think I just woke up Freddy. Whoops. So I managed to get it the right size and it fits the glassine envelope perfectly. But um, I am actually gonna change these envelopes. I don't like, they're very sharp on the edges. I know that sounds daft, but I'm not super keen on the texture of them. So once, I'm not gonna um, throw them away, but once I've used all of these, I'm gonna find a different uh, company and hopefully get a slightly nicer, I mean, they're good quality, but um, I can't peel and stick them down because it's just it sticks so strong that you have to just rip like rip the envelope to get into the sticker sheet and I don't want that so I'm gonna try and phase these out and then um, use a different manufacturer but I just did another little test print on my like label sticker paper so the colors are really kind of muted but um, I just wanted to make sure that the, the sizing was correct and it is and I've also made the little banner at the bottom a little thicker so it's a bit clearer i'm really happy with this because i'm going to be updating all my stickers and the idea is that i want to add loads more like i want my shop to be chock a block with stickers i have started adding numbers so this is timeout 001 and then hopefully I'll have a range of timeout sticker sheets and then I'll be able to categorize them by number rather than like just by name. I think it'll be so much easier and it'll be easier on my website as well because I can um, keep a track of inventory that way and yeah that's the plan. Right now for the real sticker paper and let's see if the colors pop. <laughs> I'm so in love with this sticker sheet. I'm so, so happy with it. I cannot wait to put this in my shop and I can't wait for all of my sticker sheets to look like this and look like a collection rather than a random kind of mix of styles. And yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so happy. They are so cute. So I've successfully finished my first sticker revamp. Um, like I said, I've been meaning to do this for 
ages. I am in love with it. It's a very cozy vibe. You've got coffee cups, flowers, candles, and yeah, chocolate, you know, all the cozy things. And I'm gonna fill out my product launch planner. I started filling that out yesterday, but I'm gonna finish filling that out. And if you want to download this yourself, you can join my Sassy Sidekicks tier on Patreon for $6 a month, which is about £4.40-ish. On that happy note, Freddy is back asleep. I did wake him up with the cricket and me talking too loudly, but anyway, he is back asleep. And I think I'm gonna call it a night because it is now midnight. Um, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I have loads of other studio vlogs that I think you'll like. If you've liked this one, if you've made it to the end, you obviously enjoyed something. I would love to have you here on the journey of this business, especially as I'm navigating my way back into it after having a baby. So enough chatter, I am going to end the vlog here and get editing so that I can get it out to you guys on schedule. Okay. Bye guys! Oh, wait, I shall see you next week for another studio vlog. Okay, bye guys!